Hey guys, what's up? My name is Joshua, or Composited C1, and today I'm going to bring you guys a tutorial on how to take 2D text and make it into a 3D object uh, in Photoshop. Uh, I'm currently using Photoshop CC, but this works in Photoshop CS6 or CS5, etc. Before I get into the tutorial, I'm going to ask for 150 likes again, and I'll give you guys a little pack filled with uh, a whole bunch of clan and social media um, uh, logos already done up in this nice little... 3D uh, effect. It looks very nice. Uh, as you can see, it's basically just a drop shadow and a few extra objects and a stroke. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. It won't take too long. So let's get right into it. Um, so I'm just going to hide this layer right here. It's just the text. I'm going to create a new one by pressing the T on my type tool. I'm just going to type out tutorial. Just like that. And then we're going to center it up. So if I go to my background, control click on the image press V and center up my object just like that next what we're excuse me what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put a color on this text so just uh, highlight it and then go up to here and then I'm make it a blue kind of a dark blue just like that and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, take a drop shadow and apply it to our text so put the opacity up to 100 put on normal Take the size to zero and put the distance in this case to seven. You can always just mess with it. It just depends on what you like and how deep you want it to look. So if we hide all this background stuff, you'll see that now we just have a simple drop shadow on our tutorial text. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in really close and take our P or our pen tool and we're just gonna make little objects around the corners to pretty much uh, make it an actual object. So I always like to grab the transparent pixels as well. It always just looks better, in my opinion, if you do that. Uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll just go up and down these letters just like this. Just make sure you grab the transparent pixels. We might actually make a white background really quick. Just that way we can see them a little bit easier. So just like that. Put under everything. There we go and so we're just on the eye now um, I really like doing this effect it's nice well, it obviously it looks nice but um, it's really good for apparel if that's what you're into it's good for thumbnails it's pretty much good for uh, just about anything it can apply to a lot of different areas maybe you're making a poster design and you need to do 3d text but you don't actually own a program to do so this will obviously help you out um, tremendously you can always just uh, take the brush tool and create some new layers, some clipping masks and shade uh, to give it even a more better effect. But this tutorial is just a simple rundown of how exactly you do it. Um, I didn't follow any tutorial on how to actually do this. Um, I actually kind of came up with it myself. Uh, I was just messing around one day. I was like, hey, I kind of want to make some 3D text. How do I do it uh, without actually using like Cinema 4D or blender or whatever other program you guys might be familiar with uh, this is pretty much the simplest way to get the best looking effect I think so uh, it's just kind of tedious you know uh, always working with the different pixels because you don't want anything too close you don't want extra pixels because if you'll see in a second when I'm done with this we're gonna make a stroke on this uh, final layer and it'll give it even a more bolder effect it'll look great uh, make sure to grab the transparent pixel there we go but yeah, as I just mentioned, it's really a tedious process. But after you get used to it, you'll figure out where to uh, click on. And as you see, I did finish it up down here. I don't know how. That's weird. Well, we just go back up to the corner of this A. Take the pen tool out. Where is this going from? Hmm. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we got to work. Yeah, pencil is kind of uh, weird at times, but yeah, um, on the A's you still even want to do it up in this corner because when we put the stroke on, you want everything to look pretty much uniform. Uh, that's pretty much the best way to get it, and then you can always uh, fix them up at the end because we might have like a pixel or two out of place on the stroke, which always looks bad because if you're going to do this for like t-shirts, t-shirts or like a poster, you want it to look the best. You don't want any stray pixels or anything of that sort so we're just about done with that so our next uh, step in this little process is to create a new layer 
go to your paths tab control and click on the image that way it gets marching ants in everywhere that we selected so now with this new layer we're just going to uh, grab the black or whatever color you have as the drop shadow then press g for the paint bucket and fill in one of the paths and that actually simultaneously fills in all the other paths as well so then you can just control d to deselect and drag this under your text and now you'll see that we have some stray pixels just delete them it's the best thing you can do so yeah see over here we just have a whole bunch of stray pixels it's not a bad thing it just means that um you selected a little bit more than what you needed to so we just take a quick gander over the rest of this you'll see we have one up here just delete that just like that and the rest of it looks pretty good just have one or two over here as well so there we go uh, next process what we need to do is we're going to create this into a group and we're going to make this text uh, make that and then control copy that and then control E to merge drag this under the text uh, folder and what we're going to do on this is we're going to create a stroke of three pixels or you can do two one maybe even four if you really wanted to I'll do it at three though that seems to be the best looking and now we have this really big emphasis and uh, kind of like a uh, what are they like a not bevel a cap over the 2d so it actually does look like a 3d object a really simple one but with um, some like materials not materials with some images and stocks and stuff you can really beef this up uh, the way you edit the text the blue portion is just go back up to your text right here then you can put an overlay etc on it so we'll do that we'll do a gradient overlay put it on overlay I like to do 20 um, just adds that little bit of emphasis and then other things you can do is just like an inner glow at 20% maybe even 10 seems to work so that's basically how you do it uh, it's really simple and then if we just show everything else on this you'll see it looks really similar to the original one so we'll do sample on this so this is our original text this is our sample different sizes but that works um, so yeah this has been a really quick tutorial on how to do uh, 2d text into a 3d object in Photoshop I hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like the video share it favorite it uh, be sure to comment on what you guys also like to see we are always trying to come up with new ideas to please you guys and give you some more tips and tricks on how to create stuff um, be sure to subscribe as we always uh, upload different tutorials every day not every day, but you know, really consistently. So thank you guys for uh, checking this video out. I'm kind of struggling at the end. But um, thank you again. Be sure to leave a like and peace.